Latest on Cyclone Fani nearing the Indian coast at this moment in time, less than 200 miles offshore at this point. Uh, intensification's halted. It isn't looking as great on satellite imagery as it did parts of yesterday and today Eastern Time, as well as Indian Standard Time. Uh, I will replacement cycle, dry air, and some shear definitely putting an impact. Still projected stage 5 on the CDPS scale, devastating damage possible if, uh, in the landfall area of the storm if that were to occur right now. Some of the distances for the location right now. Like I said, less than 200 miles away from shore right now. This is Kaptanam, 172 miles away only. And then Kolkata there in Bangladesh, 557 miles away, is expected to reach there in the coming days as well. Uh, there are warnings in effect now. Um, North Andhra, Pradesh, Odisha, and West Bengal all have numerous warnings in effect for the areas from heavy rain, flash flooding, and severe winds. All those warnings are in effect in the areas as the storm is still category. Uh, here's when the computer model runs. Here you can see the rainfall rates. Uh, you can see it try to make a landfall uh, in this latest GFS run uh, north of East of um, before kind of came carried up towards Calcutta and the other areas of um, Northeast India and Bangladesh over the coming days. It's really going to get pulled quickly to the Northeast after initial slower movement that we're seeing right now. Um, and by this time, Tuesday, fully off screen, a little bit of rainfall on the east side by uh, China, but nothing too serious of note in the rest of the basin at that point in time. Sea surface temperatures will be very warm. They are warm right now as well. Uh, upper 20s, nearing 30 degrees Celsius in some areas. Very warm over land also, hitting 40s regularly in India at this time. Uh, here's the wind field from the DFS run. Yellow is hurricane intensity at minimum. You can see that landfall there on land in India, and it carries that tropical storm force wind all the way up through towards Bangladesh for the system as it clears out by Sunday. At this point, there's not really going to be much left. We're really nearing the final stretch of the storm at this point. Um, it's getting close to landfall. We're two days away about at this point. Its impacts are already being felt, though. Uh, its area of impact, its area of reach is definitely extending over land at this point in time. Uh, tropical storms, winds, chance, odds, whatever you want to call them. 60% uh, chance for Visa Kaftanon, 70% uh, for Buda Nechar, and 50% for Kolkata right now. Expect that number in Kolkata to rise though in the coming days as the storm gets closer to the area as we go on in time. Uh, here's one of the model images here though. Different spreads of models pretty close to this point. We're pretty close now. Uh, you can see just how close it is to land right now. We're just a few degrees away, less than 200 miles again. Um, they're pretty close that we're going to see a landfall uh, in northeast India on in terms of the coastline and then a move into Bangladesh curving more towards the northeast rather than just north northeast. And the uh, general pace that we're going to see two days or so at this point into landfall, we're almost there. Satellite imagery once again, you can see the development of the storm over the past few hours, uh, past 12 hours actually. Uh, it was looking better, and then it kind of collapsed in on itself a little bit. I will replacement cycle. It definitely has enough moist air around it, but shear could be inhibiting it slightly. We'll see what happens in the coming days. Stay tuned for more. Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com at your service using that link. You can also find us on YouTube if you aren't here already at youtube.com slash force13. Feel free to subscribe as well. We're on Facebook, facebook.com slash force13, where we post regularly, and we're on Twitter, it's at force13 to follow us there. You can also help the project grow even more by becoming a patron using the link in the description or on screen right now. All contributions go directly back into the project, and we'd like to thank all our current patrons for supporting us at this time as well. All your support is really appreciated. You can also contact us privately using Fool13 at extension 9094 on Discord to message us and join our chat servers or use the link in the description.